Hello everyone, my name is Jana L. Sutherland of Jana L.S. Fashion Line and I'll be speaking to you all about overcoming. Overcoming is such a big word. Overcoming. Overcoming what? Overcoming who? Overcoming society? Overcoming? Overcoming. Okay, so let me, before I describe to you what overcoming really is and how it applies to your life, let me describe to you how I use it in mine. Okay, let's rewind the tracks. I am 25 now, oh my god. And let's rewind the tracks to me being 19 years old in Brooklyn, New York, confused, lost, and believing in purpose, believing in destiny, but not really understanding what the power of my destiny was. So back, rewinding back, I was so lost and I knew I was born for something more, but I didn't understand what it was. So I went to a mentor's house and what she told me, something that changed my life. She said, Yana, you are meant for greatness. And even though you not, you don't know the greatness of it right now, as you're overcoming, keyword, as you're overcoming, you will always figure that out. So a little piece by piece by piece gets unraveled. So understanding that the bigger picture is a part of overcoming. And I will give you an example. So I went to school in England and I'm from New York. So let's take this New York girl and let's switch her to a hole across the pond and to England. Um, I, I believe that I, I was born to go there and I wanted to go there to school in England for fashion. And everyone told me no. My mom told me no. My father told me no. My, my teachers told me no. Every single person around me said, no, yeah, that's not that's not for you. Or yeah, this that's just a really big, far, far goal to reach. Why don't you try something that's, you know, a little smaller? Why don't you try, you know, a school close to your home or close or FIT because that's the Fashion Institute of New York. So I want to try something that's a bit, a bit closer to home. And I was like, well, no, I really want to go over there. And so overcoming in that season looked like me having to overcome people and their mentality and their perspective of me. Because sometimes, and it's just a little tidbit, that when people tell you no, it's not really them they're telling you no. They're telling the no of themselves. They're saying no because their belief of themselves is so small that they can't believe that you could possibly do anything bigger than what they've done. So when I was 19 years old, I was like, well, everyone's telling me no. And, and the thing about it is when you trust people, you trust them with your inward faces. So I was trusting them with my dreams, my hopes, and with things that I was, I believe that was my destiny, my purpose, and that it was going to lead me there. Okay, so I believed it. Two months later, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to apply anyway. I'm just going to be be zealous and reply and apply anyway i applied there was a woman across the world that was helping me get to school i paid her nothing it was a whole agency they actually had a a, a, P, a, fee, a payment fee and i paid nothing only because that she believed in me so i want to tell you about the power of overcoming when you believe in that what you've been called to do is so powerful that you can overcome anything and so much like overcoming is like trailblazing so as you're overcoming you are trailblazing and that the fire and the passion inside of you is going to quench and is going to stare everyone every every disbelief in their faith and say i know you don't believe in me and that's okay i'm not i'm not you're not my enemy but the 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 enemy is is that what you don't believe so i'm going to ignore that and bypass that and going to see past all that i was born to do so overcoming one more time overcoming is overcoming who overcoming what and overcoming things in your season that tell you and that is going against the grain of yourself and going against the grain of what you've been called to do because we're all born in this world for a reason there is an answer that you were born for there is or there's a people that need your voice there is a people that need your sound that need your resilience and that the dreamers out there, we are the most resilient because we get the most shut down. But you know what? There is a reason why you are the most resilient because there's a people that need your resilience. And there's a people that need your story. I believe you needed mine. I'm Yana Ellis. Have a good day. Thank you. From TEDx, Mercer Island High School Women.